Take you all on down. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, my name is Donna Ingram and it's my great pleasure to represent the Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Land Council to offer you welcome to country. It is a great honour today as we are here for the National Congress of Australia's First People Human Rights Day event, Stand Up For Unity. Yeah, everybody, um, it's about human rights for, for, for everybody. And, So what it means for, for, for Australia as a whole, Australia as a country, how we move forward as a nation of people, not just Aboriginal people, black fellas and, and, and non-Aboriginal white fellas, you know, but, but all of us, how we move together. And, and uh, to recognise as we look at each other, we, we to, to, to recognise that we, are human beings together sharing this great country. But you wouldn't let me, you won't regret it. Together we can lighten this load. Human Rights Day for me is um, like a celebration of um, everybody having their basic human rights met. Um, we know from past that that hasn't always been the story. However, today um, it's really beautiful to see, particularly the young people, um, achieving, striving and accomplishing things that we, could, we, we never could. Um, it means... Um being able to stay strong in who you are as a person and maintain your identity and maintain your um, basic human rights. And in 1948, on this date, on the 10th of December, the Universal Declaration on Human Rights was created. And it's that Universal Declaration which is now the foundation of all the human rights instruments that have been adopted internationally by the community, particularly through the United Nations framework. Many of you are aware that our people from here in Australia, Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander people, have been going overseas for a number of decades now in order to get sympathy and attention to our rights, the rights which have been so heavily denied to us over the history of the creation of the nation of Australia and the colonisation of these lands. And it's only been during these years, since World War II, that we have been able to use the human rights framework as the way of fighting back to have our dignity as a peoples, to have our freedoms as a peoples, to control our own lives and to determine our futures and to guarantee for all our future generations our continuation as the indigenous peoples of this land. This day was first celebrated back in 1950 but it's as relevant today as it was back then to remember that we must continue to fight to have our rights recognised. I know you've heard a little bit from Alec about human rights, but I just want to spell them out, that these are basic standards of living. They're minimum standards that we all deserve to survive and live with dignity. They're pretty straightforward. The right to life, the right to a fair trial, the right to free speech, the right to water and food, the right to shelter, the right to health, education and an adequate standard of living, freedom from torture and other cruel and inhumane treatment, and freedom of religion. These are rights that any fair person or government would and should support. Up to the sky, we won't cry. We need to start uniting so that we can make a difference and make positive change. Not negative stuff, positive for all of our mobs, so that we move together and move forward. Many roads are taken, many miles I walk. In 
the middle of a crossroad, God know which road to take. Cause I have suffered, yeah, and I have cried. Who am I to say much more than you? I want you to tell me now, how did you get through? Blackfellas made this thing and it will only survive if we are all behind it. If you are an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander person aged over the age of 18, you are eligible to join. Why join? It's really simple. Because Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people count. We matter. And because together we are stronger. We won't cry. We stand up for the rights of our peoples. We will stand up for them in Australia, at the parliament, with the government. We will come to places like these parks and talk to our people and show these rights. And we will go overseas and talk to the United Nations and the human rights treaty bodies about these rights as well. So these are all so important and just a small part of the ongoing work that we'll be doing as part of this national organisation. A national organisation set up by the people to represent our people for our people and protect the rights of our peoples.